Okay class. Today we are going to... Class, it's an earthquake! Everyone under the desk like we practiced! Ah! Don't worry class, we are stuck together! Get on up the desk, Iggy! Get on up the desk! Ah! Teacher, what happened to the school? We are alive. But the whole school is gone. The area where we live does tend to get earthquakes. Earthquakes? You mean when the ground shakes and shakes under your feet? Uh, 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 uh. Exactly. Um, if there are earthquakes, then maybe we shouldn't go. Earthquakes are serious, Ellie. But even places known for getting earthquakes don't get them over time. Isn't that right, Mr. Michael? Well, actually, I must say that earthquakes do happen all the time. There's an earthquake about every 30 seconds somewhere on Earth. Really? But most earthquakes are very short and not that strong. What Mr. Michael means is usually they happen way down deep, so up here we can't even feel them. But what if you're in an earthquake that you can feel? First of all, if it happens, you should listen to the grown-ups, and there are things we can do to protect ourselves in an earthquake. Absolutely. Stay calm and don't run around. Best thing to do is stay out in the open and move away from anything that might come loose and fall on you. Like a tree branch? Or a coconut? Or a rhinoceros? Yes, yes, and possibly cocoa, but highly unlikely. I don't know. I still don't like the sound of it. I like the sound of it. It goes, ooh, 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 ooh. Snowy, she means that earthquakes make her nervous. I didn't say that. It's all right, Ellie. You're not alone. But remember, we never even feel most earthquakes. It's the land that's affected more than anything else. The land? Like the ground and trees and things? Exactly, Ellie. Over a long, long, long time, earthquakes change the way a land looks. They can even make mountains. Earthquakes can make mountains? How? The surface of the earth is broken up into giant chunks called plates. Like the kind we eat off of on Webkin's World? Maybe that's why I like eating plants so much. They're served up on giant plates. Interesting theory, but these plates are different. They're giant, giant, giant stretches of land. The plates move around very slowly, and every now and then, they bump into each other. When two plates push on each other for millions of years, in time, they can cause huge mountains to form. But who? Allow me. Thank you so much, Cody. You saved the school. How did you do that? Oh, I put a spell in the grass to make it bouncy enough for the school to be saved. Cody, you're a hero. Because of that, you get an A-plus for the rest of the year. I'll take it. 